Hi guys, it's Helen here and thanks for joining me today. Now today I'm going to be talking about my day at Indigo Blue. Now as part of my Papercraft Magazine Designer of the Year um, competition that I won, um, one of the prizes was to spend a creative day out and I was chosen to go to Indigo Blue which I was over the moon about. Um, it was a really easy journey for me to get there. Um, I just went on Friday, with Friday just gone, and on my table was, wait was this waiting for me. It's lovely canvas bag it's been hand printed as well it's a lovely thick quality fabric and it's got um a magnet closure and a lovely zipped pocket in here as well so you can actually buy that in the shop at their headquarters that's in redford okay so here's the project that we made on the friday and it's an eight by eight art journal i've got the packaging here but obviously when i turned up it was just everything was just bare ready to be decorated so this is from the drunken disorderly it's an eight by eight art journal you get 20 pages five tags i've got those here and two covers and two book rings okay so the first uh, 10 pages you get our white bockingford mixed media card so it's a really good quality card there and 10 pages of natural can card as well, which is it's like um, a craft card. So these are absolutely perfect for doing your mixed media. So we'd, we painted them all with black gesso first. Um, and then we used embossing folders to emboss bits of card that we then cut out and then stuck down randomly just to create a nice pattern. So I did it on both sides. And we also used five brand new colours that were released um, on Saturday on Hachanda. And those colours were leather corset, stroke of midnight, olive waistcoat, warm tan, steam whistle. So you can get those on the website at the moment. And also these are on the website as well. These were also on Hachanda. I watched that on the Saturday. Okay, so this is just a hairband. I think we used the slap it on. I think it's called slap it on. It's like a texture paste. If I'm wrong, please put it in the description box if I am wrong. Okay, so that's the mini album. I really enjoyed making that, especially when she walked around giving us all this hardware as well to stick on. And this is this is this is rust, it's supposed to be like dripping down. Okay, so there was also a little goodie bag waiting for us. Got these pearls here and some ribbons. Okay, so we, we, we've used these ribbons here to decorate the book rings. Now I've tied them differently. I'm going to try and work out which one I like the most. Now these are singly, single knots tied on. And these ones up here I've tied on like I would do a tag. You can see that. So I'm just trying to work out which ones I like the most. It'll be a while before I decide that though. And then when I decide I'll change each one. Okay, so we've got these pearls as well and as you can see I have used some I've used one here and here and we finished off with the silver um, acrylic paint which is vodka martini it's a lovely name isn't it vodka martini it's perfect okay and I've also used the small beads as well and this is actual hardware the nuts and bolts and um, this is an actual handle it screws it's screwed on here and uh, yeah, and we all had a lovely time chatting away, having fun and laughing. Absolutely great group um, that were there on the Friday. And, and most of them were back again for the Saturday and the Sunday. So they were there for the entire weekend. And if you visit their Facebook page, um, there are some live feeds from there where they broadcasted live about what they were making. So on Saturday, they did a, um, a painting of a, a girl's face. And on the Sunday, I believe, they continued to um, decorate and finish off the insides of the albums as well and the tags. Okay, so I have a small haul to show you. Now, I want to show you the prizes that I got first and um, just put them down here. Um, Indigo Blue did generously donate some of their um, stamps towards the winners, the winner haul. Um, so I'll just quickly go through these. We'll start with the big ones. Now, this one's called Floral Fantasy. I absolutely love this. Um, is it Budlia? This does remind me of my childhood actually. There was a lady that lived up my road and her tree was absolutely swarming with butterflies in the summer. It was lovely. It's a really good memory I have of that. 
okay so you do have to cut them up I'll quickly show you but they are they are mounted onto cling easy cling so just grab a block they do they do stick on so it's not just the, the bare red rubber it's, it's easy enough to cut them out so I will be coming uh, doing a, a new storage system for all my new stamps because I've got quite a lot of stamps now okay so these ones are called word blocks so this will be perfect for your mixed media even if you just partially um, ink up bits of the stamp there and just use um, like the partial bits on your page um, but obviously you'd probably just want to cut those up into six okay moving on we have some cats this is Kevin's gang and kibble kits Now this one's kibble pup, so this is if you, this is um, if you like the dogs, Duke's gang. Now this one is colour me Dahlia and colour me an enemy. I love these ones. I'm going to have loads of fun with these too. And this one is teeny backgrounds. These are quite small, so I probably do partial stamping in places. So these will be perfect for another mixed media page. And the last one is one of my favourites. This is Laurel Leaves and um, I absolutely adore leaf stamps. So this is definitely going to be one of my go-to stamps for leaves and I've already started using it already. Now I have made a card. Here we go. I've used this set here for all fantasy. I didn't actually use this so I'm going to make another card with this one featured. Probably a watercolour type. And so basically I just used um, some watercolour paper prepped with a palette knife with white gesso and then I did some watercolouring techniques with the ink droppers and, and letting it run and spray, lots of spray, just to build up that colour and then letting it dry in between each coat so I could build up the colours. Um, if you want to see a video of me doing something like that again, please let me know down below. And I've also used um, the same effect here on the butterflies, but with slightly more blue and purples. So I use these two butterflies here. And I use Black Archiver Link on the leaves. Uh, so I, yeah, I use this one here as well. Okay, so um, I'll probably send this to Kay and Alfie. And um, just to say thank you for having me. So thank you, Kay. Thank you, Alfie, for having me. So I also bought a few stamps when I was there. I just got the three because um, my big prize haul is taking up a lot of space. And it's taken me a while to get that sorted and filtered into my crafting system. So I'm having to redesign a few things and moving things around. So it looks a bit hodgepodge of furniture at the moment so yep I'll be buying more stuff when I get all that lot sorted out so I'm never going to stop buying craft stuff no matter how full everything gets I'm still going to buy stuff okay so these three things I had to get now this one is blazing poppies I'm going to do some lovely water colouring with this one um, that's my first idea and then I'm going to have another play trying out some mixed media things with that as well so that's the blazing poppies and then we have two dinky stamps now you're probably thinking I'm mad I'm not I did buy a Christmas stamp Um, I'm planning on doing my Christmas in July series and that will only be a few months away and that's going to take me a while to plan so yes I am thinking ahead for that and that will be in July a whole week back to back um, videos of Christmas projects so yep keep an eye out for that series and this one is a butterfly i love butterflies i love butterflies so yep i've used it already i just had to test it out let's see if i can find my piece of paper here we go yeah i've had a few experiments already with the butterflies and this this effect is smooshing if you don't know what smooshing is you get your ink pad press it onto your bit of packaging or a bit of plastic or anything and then you spray it squirt 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 and then you just place it onto your watercolor paper and you just smoosh it around like that and you can build up if you let it dry in between your smooshing then you can build up the colors or layers on your effects so it'll be different every time you do it so um this was the piece of paper i used on these two butterflies whoops and then i added some blue just with my paintbrush 
Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you to um, Kay and Alfie for having me. I had the most wonderful time. If you need to um, find out some more information about the next retreat, that will be in October. And if I believe if you join their newsletter, you'll be sent some more information closer to the time. Okay, so thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.